That could work. You know, I've been told you all heard. What I was saying in there to the others, is that right? Yeah. Well then, you know that I finished by telling a story that I said I hadn't told to Gorbachev. I think I'll tell you a story that I have told to him. It seems that they were having some troubles with speeders in the Soviet Union, even though they don't have many automobiles. So an order was issued that everybody, no matter who it was, caught speeding, get a ticket. And one day, Secretary General or General Secretary Gorbachev is coming out of his country home. He's late getting to the Kremlin, so he told his driver to get in the back seat and he'd drive. And down the road he went, past two motorcycle policemen. One of them took out after him. In just a few minutes, he was back with his buddy. And the buddy said, well, did you give him a ticket? And he said, no. He said, you did? not Why not? Why? We're supposed to give everyone a ticket. He said, no, he was, he was too important. I, but he said, he said, who was it? Well, he said, I couldn't recognize him, but his driver was Gorbachev. <laughs> well, I got to tell one more, and then I got to go back to Washington and get to work, too. Another story that's a favorite of those people over there is they like to tell stories about us and their people and arguments about the two countries. And this was an argument in which the American, trying to prove how great this country is, said, look, I can walk into the president's Oval Office, I can pound the desk and say, Mr. President, I don't like the way you're running our country. And the Russian said, I can do that. He said, you can? He said, yes, I can walk into the Kremlin, to the general secretary's office, I can pound on his desk and say, Mr. General Secretary, I don't like the way President Reagan's running his country. Well, that's enough here. You've stood here long enough, and I just want to thank you all for not only a great welcome, but I, as I told you in those remarks in there, you're performing miracles, and you make me so proud of what you're all doing and what America means and why we can hold our own with anyone in the world and better them. Thank you very much. God bless you all. Reagan talked to uh, several hundred there. Before he jumped on the helicopter, told the